Oh wait, we gotta actually we talk. We have to talk. First. Yes. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. We're back at it again with another vegan recipe. This one is a soup. Yeah, and we're at Devon's Cottage, so we knew it had to be easy to make, uh, really easy to make a big batch of, and something that's good for vegans and non-vegans. Yeah, we had to please all the people. Yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it can be done. And today we're making a spicy coconut curry soup. Emphasis Here's on the spicy. Let's do this. <laughs> Start by cutting the butternut squash into cubes. You'll need two and a half cups. Then thinly slice one red bell pepper. Chop up two to three medium sized carrots into quarter inch pieces. And then slice up two cups of black kale. To a large pot, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once that's heated, add in your butternut squash cubes with one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of onion powder. Mix it together and let that cook until the squash is lightly browned. After the squash has browned, remove it from the pot and pour in one tablespoon of olive oil. Then add the red peppers, carrots, one tablespoon of red curry paste, one teaspoon of hot chili flakes, one tablespoon of curry powder. Mix that together and cook until the vegetables are softened. When the vegetables are softened, add two cans of coconut milk, two cups of vegetable stock, two cups of water, and bring back the squash. Then stir until it's all combined. Squeeze in juice from half a lemon and stir. Then let the soup simmer for about 10 minutes. And finally, stir in the black kale and cook until the kale wilts. Okay, and there you have it. Really Time easy. to eat it. Yeah. And it's actually really quick. That was pretty quick, yeah. actually. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So spicy. I love the spice. And you mm -hmm. could add less spice, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, you could easily just not if add you, as much. Yeah, if you don't want... Like, we added a lot of chili flakes. You can add either less of them, or you can just omit it all together if you don't want any spice. The curry itself is a little spicy, but it's not that bad. I want more soup. I just want to eat soup all I'm time. not even, like, a huge soup lover. Mm -hmm. Like, I like soup, but I don't love soup. I'd rather have something else, usually. I love soup. But I like that this is, like, kind of heartier. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word for it? You have to add enough. So we have like butternut squash in there, which is really filling. Carrots, peppers, kale, all the really filling stuff. If it was just the broth, it would yeah. be kind of boring. And I like that it's creamy. Coconut milk. Yes. So good. <laughs> that's a must. All right. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And definitely try this soup. Even though we're getting into kind of spring weather, soup is an easy go-to mm -hmm. recipe. Yeah, and it's good for seasonal vegetables. Just throw whatever seasonal vegetables are at the time. Really good. Very true. That's so true. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, hit that <laughs> subscribe button because we post new vegan recipes every Sunday and we do whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday. And bye. bye. We, don't do have a, we don't have a quiet set today. Nope. We have some intruders. What's up? Okay. <laughs> Every oh, time we ever start talking. Never work with friends. <laughs> We're friends. I met with them.